From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi, welcome to another episode of Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer. And I'm Roger Charlton. Hi, Roger. It's been a busy day for me. Really? And uh, frankly, I don't have a clue <laughs> about what we're going to talk about today. Well, fortunately, I do. You do? Yeah. I'd like to quiz you. Quiz? Yes. Uh-huh. My quizzes are quite tricky. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> so people won't see me frown out there, but okay. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. What I've been thinking about is English has kind of swallowed up words from around the world mm -hmm. over a period of centuries. Right. Absorbed all kinds of vocabulary from all of the different continents. Which is what makes it such a rich language in some respects. One of the ways, yeah. Yes. So I thought I would find out just if you can recognize where some of these words came from originally. Their origins? Yeah. Which country or Ooh. which continent, which part of the world? Okay. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, go. We'll start with what we in Britain call the British Isles. Um, I think probably most people will recognize whiskey. The origin of the word whiskey? Well, I would reckon that would come from Scotland, uh -huh. because that's where it's made. Probably it's Ireland, where it's also made. Ah, okay. One of the two. Okay. Uh, do you know the difference in spelling, incidentally, between those two whiskies? You mean with the H or without? No. Oh, with the E-Y. E that's it, yes. Um, E-Y is from Ireland, and just a simple Y on the end is from Scotland. Oh, my God, I never noticed on the bottle. <laughs> my brother will know. He drinks a lot of whiskey. All right. Now, still with the British Isles, uh -huh. what about a word that sounds rather German? Loch. Uh, Loch Ness. Right. So that's the monster. Yeah. Um, so Loch means lake. Yeah. Oh, my God, where is Loch Ness exactly? I don't remember. Uh... Wales? It's Scotland. Scotland, that is Scotland. Yeah. Oh so that's a word yeah. that came into English from okay. the Scottish language, or one of the Scottish languages, Okay. called Gaelic or Gaelic. So that's uh, related to to French, like in Lac? No, not at all. Well, oh, not, okay. not closely related. Okay. No. What about clan? C-L-A-N? C-L-A-N. That's also from the British Isles. Yeah. Oh. Again from... Scotland? Scotland, yes, the clans yeah, of Scotland. Yeah, because the clans of Scotland. Yes, right. Okay, yeah. What most people don't know is where the word penguin came from. Well, penguin, I would, of course, think of, I don't know, <laughs> can't be from an Arctic language, can it? No. <laughs> this one almost certainly is from Wales. Ah. So another kind of Celtic language. Uh-huh. Because... They traveled there and got back some penguins? Well, I don't know quite how it came about, but mm -hmm. it seems to have its origin in, in Welsh. My God, this is hard. Give <laughs> me an easy one. Okay, what about fjord? Finland? Well, Scandinavia. Scandinavia? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. fine, yeah. Okay. And uh, not surprisingly, we've also got the word ski from Scandinavia. Scandinavia, because that's and, where and they come from. And sauna. Of course, could have been from Austria. <laughs> oh, right, yes. Sauna, as we pronounce it as well. Uh, also from, I would have said Swedish. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And probably you can guess where samovar comes from. I'm a tea uh, drinker. Uh, uh, samovar. I'm, I'm more the coffee type. <laughs> um... But that would be Russia. That's because right. Because exactly. that's the machine that you make coffee. Well, what about the word coffee then? Coffee. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Now, who did coffee first? Coffee and kebabs? K kebabs. And uh, ke ke kebab means meat. Yeah. Um, so that would be sort of towards Asia. Right. Um, it means meat in a lot of countries. It means meat in Arabic and in Turkish. I would go with Turkey. Exactly. So ah, good. I got a point here. Coffee and kebab. Coffee People can't see me, but there's a scoreboard in the <laughs> studio. Um, yeah. What about something a bit more negative? Assassin. Assassin. Now, I know the word is in French. Mm -hmm. uh, assassiné, which means to kill somebody. But it doesn't sound French. No. Uh, but it's seen, a, assassin, it sounds... It's a it very French-influenced area. Uh, w 
maybe North Africa. Exactly. Yes. Um, like, uh, yeah, it sounds like some of the names that they have there. Right, yeah. Uh, and you might and know Muetzin, and that's a yes. Uh, and you might know zero as well. So that would be an algebraic term, and the Arabs were. That's it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably North Africa again from Arabic. Oh let's, whoa! Let's let's jump to another part of the world. What about Kiwi? Uh -huh, New Zealand. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So so basically, what you can say is where the things come from that you try to name. Very often, the names go with them. So yes. if you have the Kiwis coming from New Zealand, then they'll just take over the names. Are but there things that you cannot recognize at all? Well, I think one that you would never guess if you didn't know is pajamas. Pajamas, pajamas. Hmm. No, first guess would be it sounds African or something. <laughs> this comes from India. India? Al along with words like bungalow and jungle and curry and shampoo. Okay, curry <laughs> is fine, but do they even have pajamas? <laughs> yeah. My God. Okay, now my, my scoreboard isn't getting any more <laughs> scores here, so I guess... I think I'll let you off the hook now. Okay, thank you very much. But there will be other words that we'll put on our website. We'll do that. Okay, so that our listeners can have a few goes at guessing where the words come from. This is it for today's Ropecast. Goodbye. Bye. listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.